Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, I have a 2010 Dodge Charger that was uh, sideswiped. So uh, I'm gonna be fixing some of the dents. Uh, there, there's one. The door, I'm gonna have to take it off. Paint the inside, the door's white. I'm gonna have to take it off, paint the inside, put it back on, and then start uh, preparing it for the outside paint. I'm gonna have to take care of this, these de uh, dents right there, and this big scratch. So the whole car, this whole side of the car, it's the one that's gonna be sprayed. So let's get to it, and uh, hope you enjoy this video, guys. Here we go. This car was brought to me with the door installed already. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start taking off the, debadging the car on this side, taking off the emblems and stuff. What I do, what I use is the heating gun. I heat it up so that I can uh, start taking it off. After taking it off, clean off this glue, and uh, that's it. I'm gonna have to clean this up so I can put some new two-sided tape and uh, and put it back on whenever the car's been painted. What I'm gonna start doing? I'm gonna start sanding with 320 with the DA just to scuff everything up and uh, start preparing this for a little bit of body filler. So uh, let me start doing that and uh, let's get to it. All right, after sanding it down, I placed this tape right here because the dent is just this little area right here. I don't want the body filler to go on this part so the tape as soon as I smooth everything out peel off the tape it uh, it won't stick to the tape so um, that's the reason I did that I also covered this area right here that I need to start uh, sanding right here I don't want to get to this uh, um, bumper cover so uh, that's what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna start adding the body filler everything's scuffed down everything's cleaned up so I'm ready to to go with the body filler All right, guys, I'm gonna start sanding the body filler. I put the uh, 180 on the DA, and that's what I'm gonna start using to smooth out the body filler. So let's get to it. All right guys, after getting real close with the DA, I'm gonna set, get myself a block sand, block sander and uh, put some uh, 220 grit sandpaper. I was using 180, I'm uh, going with 220 now. I'm gonna start sanding it, blocking it down. All 
All right, the dent is fixed. All I need to do is just add some primer to it and uh, block it down so I can uh, start uh, masking it. But I already sanded this door. Uh, like I said, this door was replaced, so I already sanded it. It had no dents or anything. So it's been sanded with 320. And uh, I took all the moldings. I still need to scuff down all this, take off the mirrors, take off everything. Like I said, I, I need to paint this door from the inside first. So um, right now, I'm over here at the at this part. I'm gonna have to fix this. This is a deep scratch all the way to the metal. Uh, I sanded this. I thought that I was gonna be able to take it off, but it's deep. So I'm gonna have to put some uh, some uh, polyester putty in there so I can cover it up. But um, that's where I'm at right now. So let me continue and uh, I'll come back. All right, what I'm gonna do right now is take this door off so that I can start fixing those dents with the door off. So here we go. All right guys, the door has been taken off. So right here, I grind it off so that I can use the stud welder and uh, so I can pull the dent out. So let me, let me get to it. Alright guys, after pulling the dent, I added some body filler. Uh, the dent wasn't that bad, so I just added some body filler. And now I'm uh, straightening it out with the uh, inline sander. So uh, let me do that, let me continue, and um, let's keep on going.
All right, guys. So I don't know if you can tell, but right here, it's there's a there's still a dip in there. I'm already um, getting close to hitting the metal, so I need to add a little bit a little bit more body filler here. Um, right here, that's it's getting there. So I'm just gonna continue as close as possible that I can get without hitting the metal, and uh, continue from there. All right, guys, <clears throat> right here, I started hitting metal, like I said. So what I need to do, I still have a low spot here. So what I need to do, I still need to add a skim coat of body filler, a little bit more, to, to even that out, to straighten that out. So let me start doing that. All right, guys, I added one more layer of body filler. And then um, after I smoothed it down, I added that uh, red putty just to cover up all the little scratches and stuff. That's what I'm going to be using in this, but I got to I got to clean this area first. Here's another dent, but I need to get the door back on the car in order for me to fix this one. I will show you how. And um, this was there was a little door dings here and there, so I fixed those also. And uh, that's it. So let me get the the door back on the car so I can start fixing this dent right here. All right. All right guys, right here, I already put the door back in the car. So what I'm gonna do, uh, I don't know if you can see right here, there's a little step. So that's what I need to fix. Everything else is, is aligned, everything else is smooth. So this little piece is the one that I need to fix right here. The bottom one's good. So um, let me start adding some body filler. I'm gonna put a tape right here. That way I don't have a body filler going in there, but I'm gonna put, I'm gonna start adding some body filler to this area. All right guys, the first layer has been added. Before uh, the body filler is dried up, I need to get a razor blade and cut this area right here. So let me do that right now. Alright guys, everything uh, has been sanded. Uh, I first started sanding with 220, trying to take off all the, the red putty that I put. And after sanding it with uh, 220, I went ahead and did it with 320. And now you can see, wherever there's red, that's where all the little scratches were. And now you can't even feel them. All this uh, big scratch that was there, it's gone. So, um, it's ready, it's ready to go. So now I, what I need to do is start adding some um, some primer to these areas so I can start uh, blocking it. So uh, let's let's go. All right guys, I'm gonna start spraying some 2K primer on these uh, primered areas, the door. I already did, so let me spray some primer on this. Guys, for the primer, I'm using a cheap gun. Uh, you don't wanna use a high quality gun for this it's just gonna damage the gun so I'm using a cheap gun right now All right, guys the door is back on like you see here it's all primer it's ready to go all I need to do is block that primer so um, next I'm working on this area right here that uh, that I need to fix put some primer on that put some primer on this and we're good we're good to go so uh, let me continue all right guys everything's ready I took off the door I'm gonna start painting the inside. I already scuffed it down with a red scotch spray, so um, it's good to go. I'm gonna just um, put a couple of layers, like about two layers to three layers of a uh, base, and uh, around one or two layers of clear. It's uh, this is the inside, so doesn't need that much protection. So let's get to it.
All right, this is after three coats of base. Um, I still need to add the clear. Like I said, I'm gonna add like about one or two coats only. That's all it needs for the inside. So that's what I'll, I'll be doing. So let me prepare the, the clear. I don't know if you guys saw the clear I'm using. I'm using the Tamco 2104 clear. That's a reduced uh, two to one to 10% re uh, reducer. All right, guys, well, let me continue. All right guys, this is after two coats of clear and uh, three coats of base. The inside of the door is ready. So next, what I'm gonna do is put it back on, start sanding the outside and uh, paint it. So um, <clears throat> what I'm doing right now, I'm masking the car um, and I'm gonna prepare it and prepare it for paint. Everything has been sanded, wet sand with uh, 320 and then 400 400 it's a good uh, foundation for the for the base or sealer if you're going to put sealer but on this application i'm going to put base uh, i'm going to put uh uh yeah just a base coat so uh let's get to it all right guys i'm going to show you how i mask the inside for uh so it doesn't get any paint inside the 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 door what i do i put a tape it's automotive tape backwards okay so when I close the door I also put automotive tape here on this side of the door backwards also so uh, all the way down so what I do when I close the door I use some type of uh, something to just push the tape inside I'll show you in a little bit but when the two halves meet, that thing sticks together and it won't, uh, right here, I don't know if you can see, well, both of the areas stick together and there's nothing going in. There's nothing that's going to be going inside the door jam. So uh, let me continue and I'll show you as soon as I'm going to start closing the door.
guess that's the way you that's the way I do it right here I didn't cover it because I'm gonna tape all this up um, so that's the reason I didn't put tape on this so I'm gonna be covering that up covering the window and all that deal but uh, the reason I'm using this to push the tape inside I don't want to have a hard edge right in the very corner because when I peel the tape it's gonna start uh, peeling off so we push it inside have it reveal a little bit so that the paint can go inside just a tad and that'll work that's uh, that'll that'll help you out on that so let me continue all right guys the uh, car is ready um, I ran out of tape so I used a different tape hopefully it won't come back and bite me in the butt but I don't think so I think it'll go it'll work good so uh, I'm ready I'm ready to paint um, let me start uh, doing it with the wax and grease remover and uh, attack rag and let's get to it
All right, guys, this is after three coats of base. Uh, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to get the tech rag, wipe it down, and um, that way it's nice and clean for the clear coat. I'm going to add three coats of clear, and uh, that'll be it. That'll be the finished product. So uh, let me start you doing the tech rag. All right, guys, this is after three coats of base and uh, three coats of clear. The car is uh, done, came out nice, nice and straight, nice and shiny. So um, I'll show it to you out in the sun. As soon as I it's, it's dried up, I'm gonna leave it around 12, 13 hours to dry. It's been like about three hours already, but I'll leave it until tomorrow, get it out in the sun and uh, show it to you guys but uh, this is it and uh, 
I'll see you out in the sun. All right, guys, let me show you the inside of the door jams right here. Like I mentioned, this technique works. You don't have any overspray coming inside. So um, try it out, guys. Try it out, and I know you'll like it. That's the way I've been doing it for, for a while already. Right here, nothing. All right, guys, that's the inside of the door. All right, guys, this is it. This is out in the sun. Everything came out nice. Color matched perfectly. And uh, this is it, guys. Here's another one. Uh, guys, don't forget to share, subscribe, like the video, and uh, hit the link below. And I'll see you on the next one, guys. All right, thanks.